the Large Hadron Collider. I mean, you guys have been reading about this, right? Large, 17 miles around in circumference. It's this incredible, really the largest experiment in the world. It actually covers, it goes under Switzerland and France. And you basically have this huge ring that goes 17 miles around uh, that's filled with uh, magnets and, and, and uh, computer systems, etc. that's ultimately going to measure hadrons, these this, this subatomic particles, right, that interact with the, the uh, strong force at the subatomic level. And the collider here, the notion is, is I'm going to wing these particles around at near the speed of light. I'm going to slam them into each other. I'm going to see what kind of an explosion I get at the subatomic level, quarks and gluons and hadrons, etc. Computers will take a snapshot of that collision. And then over months and months, we will interpret the data, right? We will observe the evidence of what happened at the subatomic level. So there's large 17-mile ring, right? Hadron, something at a very, very, very small level below the proton, neutron, electron, etc. Collider, let's smash them together and see what happens. Why? Because we want to look into some of these things that might have happened at the beginning of the universe, right? What happened with dark energy and dark matter and what brought it all together? What is this unseen realm? Uh, this, this maybe contributing towards the toe, right? The theory of everything that, that uh, the macro scientists and the micro scientists, right? The quantum physicists, the string theorists are all looking for. Well, the really funny thing, kind of funny, about the Hadron, uh, the Large Hadron Collider uh, there in Switzerland and France is it keeps not getting going. It keeps having these stutter starts as far as they launch this thing and then it has another issue. Um, this has kind of been the case with a lot of these super collider, superconductor type experiments around the world, including in Texas. Uh, they have this huge super collider, superconductor there. None of these things ever seem to get off the ground. They either break down, they run out of money, there's uh, inner squabbling at the, uh, the academic uh, level, and the Large Hadron Collider seems to be very similar. Uh, they just tried to turn it on again and they have issues. Well, the last issue, which was hilarious, and you can read this at, uh, in Time Magazine, time.com, is all of a sudden, they've got to keep this thing really cold, right? It's got to be as cold as deep space. And uh, so if any of them, I mean, you use a lot of electricity. I mean, I, they use the amount of electricity in this thing, like, to, to, to power Geneva. But what happened was, is all of a sudden, the power starts going down. They start losing this, these frozen conditions, super frozen conditions. And they look around, and they find this piece of a baguette sitting on one of these pieces of equipment that's shutting this whole system down. Well, it turns out that some bird that had a piece of bread in its mouth got into the system, dropped this piece of baguette on a piece of equipment, and shut the whole thing down. And the joke is, like it's been at a lot of these other uh, forward-looking experiments, is, is this is a bird from the future. See, this is a time-traveling bird, and somebody in the future doesn't want scientists today discovering this subatomic realm, what happened in the beginning, the so-called, you know, God particle, so to speak. Um, something, someone, somebody is sending all of these sabotaged uh, type scenarios, including a bird with a baguette, back in time to sabotage things like the Large Hadron Collider. Because the reasoning, the reasoning is we don't want to discover what we're trying to discover. And the future knows that. Keep reading about this. Keep an eye on the Large Hadron Collider.